Hey folks, good Saturday morning to you. Uh, quick video here for a YouTube friend who um, asked a question about or inquired about if there were actually rifles made in 357 Magnum. And he, he didn't give me permission to, to give his name, so uh, I'm going to do that and he'll know who he is once he sees the uh, video. He is a subscriber. But um, I think everybody knows that there are revolvers in 357 Magnum. And actually, all, all of these firearms have been on the channel um, in the past. But just to show the comparison that 357 Magnum, this is my uh, Smith & Wesson 686. It's L frame uh, revolver in 357 Magnum. And then this is a K frame 357 Magnum model 19. And then, as the recent, most recent video showed, uh, for carry, I, I bought the uh, model 640 357 Magnum. All in 357 Magnum, but the purpose of the video was to show that there are also 357 Magnum rifles. This is the Rossi, which is also have, has uh, also been on the video, on the channel. I'm sorry. Uh, it is a lever action rifle, kind of the more budget friendly rifle for 357 Magnum. They all shoot 357 Magnum slash 38 Special, which means the exact same bullet, whether it be hollow point or otherwise, can go in the revolvers. Or the rifles. This is the Henry, Henry Big Boy Steel in 357 Magnum also. So those rifles are 357 Magnum as well as the revolvers. And there are, are a lot more varieties of 357 Magnum. You have your Winchesters and uh, other makes. But uh, this was just to show that. The, the exact same rounds, whether it be 357 Magnum or 38 Special, all of them can go into the exact same firearms. So you can buy one pack of 357 Magnums to put in your revolver to use in your lever action rifles. Now here's one of the, the questions, and I, I may do a video out in the desert about this. I've had some people ask me in person, well, you like 357 Magnum, but would you trust those to defend yourself in your home with a 357 Magnum because the rifles are old school? Here's the thing about the rifle. Sometimes budget is a big thing that you have to consider. When I bought the Rossi, it was, I want to say, around the $500 mark. And I purchased it because I like 357 Magnum rifles and lever action rifles. And I bought it to be able to do some work on it, to be able to clean it up and make it a much nicer rifle. When I received it, I found out that it didn't need it. It was already a nice rifle. The Henry is known to have a much more quality with the octagonal barrel and the uh, color case hardened receiver and the walnut stock and four in but would i defend myself with these you damn right i would because if i didn't have anything else the last thing that a, a criminal intruder or someone who wants to do harm to you wants to to feel is a 357 magnum hollow point bullet headed their way you don't want to feel that trust me there are better options would I prefer to use an AK round or AR round? Yes. Uh, typically, I don't talk about those because some things that I have, could have, may want to have in the future, already have or in the past or whatever, I'll leave those out of the video. But I like old schooled, um, Western style. I'm a fan of the Rifleman lever action rifles and revolvers. These, these are my things. I'm kind of known as the 357 Magnum guy. Um, so 
these are some of the tools that I like. Uh, for concealed carry, uh, I could choose to use a 640 because it's lighter in weight and conceals a lot better. Or if I thought that a danger was more imminent or I was hunting or out in the wild or something, I would take the larger 686 that holds seven rounds. And yes, I did say seven. Some people don't know that revolvers hold seven rounds, but just don't be that guy that thought that after you heard that fifth or sixth one that the revolver guy was done. The Model 19 holds six. The 640 holds five. Granted, more rounds you carry, the bigger the frame, and the heavier the firearm is. So, again, yes, 357 Magnums are revolver and uh, lever action rifle compatible. And uh, capacity could be uh, another conversation, but. You got to understand here in California, we're limited, legally limited to 10 rounds. So the Rossi will hold 10 and the Henry will hold 10. But think about it like this. I also equip my lever action rifles with a leather bandolier. We have another 10 rounds here. So you have a 10, technically a 10... A 10 round firearm with another 10 on you at all times so if you had to reload it's not a quick reload it's not as quick as a magazine fed rifle but you know what I mean you have them there with you and you don't have to worry about fumbling in your pocket or you, you have them there if you were able to uh, take cover and, and be able to reload that as a matter of fact speaking of these um, uh, 10 round uh, bandolier slings and these the the bandoliers are removable. I have a few of them that I'm thinking about selling. So if someone were interested, I still have a few of the, the bandolier slings available. And um, these are custom made, not by me, by a friend of mine on, uh, on eBay that I've met. And he does a lot of my sling work. So, if uh, there is some interest, I am on PayPal, and if someone wanted to uh, purchase one of those, and I think I'm going to go about 60 bucks on those. I don't know what the shipping is, but um, that's $60 with the bandolier. And these are all fitted for 357 Magnum slash 38 Special. Those are hollow points. And anybody that knows uh, firearms and uh, ammunition... We know that those are self-defense rounds there for, um, for uh, making sure that that energy stops within the target intended. So, so about 60 bucks. I don't know what the shipping is. Custom bandolier rifle slings for those. And I just happened to think about that right before I, I did the video. So uh, if someone were interested in that, again, on PayPal, if they wanted to uh, hit me up for those but yeah 357 magnum in uh, rifle and revolver oh and uh, brother I hope that paperwork works out for you because we want to see you in this game holla take care and please respect the working class